Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading for November 26th through December 3rd, 2020. My name is Brandon Tobias. Welcome to my channel, Science of the Soul and Stars. It's amazing to have you here. If you're new here, I do weekly and daily horoscope updates for your life in love and in life on a weekly and daily basis. So if you want those continued updates, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Soul family. We'd love to have you. And if you do find this video impactful, do me a favor. We are a new channel. Please hit that like button. It helps my channel and this video grow so we can guide more people. Our mission here and what we believe at Science of the Soul and Stars Cancer is that love is the most powerful catalyst for growth and transformation on someone's journey. And that is why we're here. That is why I'm here. And that's where we're going. So again, we're excited to have you. Now, let's get right into it, Cancer. We're going to start off with a channeled oracle reading for you today um, about this week, again, 26th through November or December 3rd, 2020. This is my spirit guides, your spirit guides, my angels, archangels, messages for you to know urgently this week what's going on and then we're going to be getting into a channeled tarot reading now this is if you're here for a love situation relationship situationship something like that this is where you're going to get additional clarity on that situation in particular okay so without further ado let's go ahead and open the ceremony and get right into it opening the ceremony officially for the sign of cancer collective sun moon venus rising for november 26th through december 3rd 2020 calling in my spirit guides loved ones masters wise ones angel and archangels both personally and from the collective to help guide this reading for cancer's highest good the ceremony is now open all right so cancers let's go ahead and hop into it we're going to be starting off with the mystical shaman oracle deck for your reading here i hope you've been amazingly well by the way um forgot to mention, but if you are interested in going further in this reading and you want to know more clarity based off this reading about how your person feels about you, how they see you, and what the truth of this relationship or potential relationship is from the universe itself, um, I will be doing that in the extended reading. And you can find that extended reading in the description box below. It'll be a link to Vimeo. You can purchase for like five bucks. Okay. So if you want to go deeper, that option is available for you and it helps to support me and my channel. And I appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Cancers. So here we're looking for guidance for the sign of cancer. Sun, moon, Venus rising for November 26th through December 3rd, 2020. So please give us whatever guidance cancers need to know. Spirit, thank you so much. There it is. All right, beautiful. So, interesting. We just had this other card come out too in the last reading, the beloved card. So you're in a situation with someone who I feel might be giving you their heart this week, Cancers. Um, I feel like this person has done a lot of work on their inner child, okay? Um, they've, they're coming at life with a new, refreshed perspective on what life is, maybe how they see you, how they see a situation. Um, I feel like they have been uh, cultivating, this could be you or them, but cultivating their, their own life, exploring their own life, um, maybe getting and looking at the things they need to do in order to survive for the future. Okay, but really in a mode of analysis. But there might be someone here too with some playful energy, some childlike energy, someone to help bring a little bit of spark and passion back into your life, Cancers, I'm feeling as well. Okay, um, but um, you know, what I'm feeling here is, yeah, someone uh, actually, this person potentially wants to give you uh, their heart is what I'm getting. So it's interesting, the last reading I picked up that you know, I think it was Virgos, that they wanted to give their heart to someone else. And this very reading, it came to me as someone wants to give their heart to you. And actually, even extended on that, someone's giving you their entire heart, their entire heart this time, their whole heart, their whole self, handing it to you on a platter. And this is genuinely what I'm sensing, everything, 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 everything. So a real offer, a real offer, okay? Um, I'm also getting for some reason, like, um, you know, the first thing that popped out to me on, in all honesty, is that this person may have been a little bit childlike in the past, a little bit immature, a little bit young, could be a younger person that you were dealing with or are dealing with. 
um, working with, but uh, that they needed some time to mature and to grow up. And I feel like that's what they've been doing here with the gather. It just shows up as someone who's been working on themselves, uh, you know, gathering their potential, gathering their life, gathering the fruits of their labor and their life, but trying to really find out, you know, who and what they are in a, in a real uh, sense. So I feel like they've actually done their exploring. They've done some work and some growth oriented work here come into a more mature version of themselves and they're ready to give you their heart and this time all of their heart. I feel like there was something holding them back from that before um, that wasn't allowing them to give everything that they had. They see you as the luminous warrior and this is you by the way, very strongly I'm getting. This is you, what, what you've stepped up into. You are a warrior of light, peace and justice for the world. You're here to take care of and support the world and guide the world in your light and you shine so brightly that this person I feel couldn't and can't resist you. Okay, you are being guided and have been guided by the way cancers by uh, your ancestors here, the ancient ones, by ascended masters, by angels, okay, by help, and you represent strong the element of water, okay. Um, so you are a, a warrior of light based in the emotional uh, intuition of water. So almost angelic, I'm getting, and it's so interesting because the last reading we picked up, you know, this person was heading towards someone who was angelic. Uh, and emotionally intuitive and all these things. So it's just, it's interesting how the readings reverse themselves sometimes. But um, be beautiful stuff, Cancer, to start the reading out. Someone here has really uh, stepped up their game when it comes to just what they can offer and, and what they want and, and making a choice here. Um, and it's a good stuff. It's really good stuff. All right, so let's get into the channeled reading, channeled tarot reading for your life. Um, Spirit, we're looking for guidance for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus rising. November 26th through December 3rd for my beautiful Cancers. Alrighty. All right, guidance here, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, so in this situation, I feel like it's been a little bit of a burden all right, maybe this person here in this situation has been really a little bit of a weight in your life, okay? And, and I mean that in both the ways of the word, right? The weight of waiting for this situation or this person to turn around or something to be uncovered or to move forward. There's a little bit of a waiting period here and the weight of it, meaning the heaviness of it in your life. So it's felt like quite a burden you've been carrying when in and around this situation, Cancers. I can see that. All right, the Queen of Pentacles with the Nine of uh, Cups here. I feel like this might be someone who appeared in your life um, who you feel might have been your wish fulfillment. Um, I don't, for some reason, sense that this was the same person from the Oracle reading here because this isn't... The Queen of Pentacles is, you know, it's the child here versus the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know... There might have been someone who appeared in your life who you felt was, who you felt could have been or was a wish fulfillment here. Now, what's interesting about this, what's interesting about this is that there's a situation here that you're still waiting for. That, that's been a, a little bit of a wait here in both ways of the word. There's another person here who I feel wants you. Could be a, a grounded, stable person. Okay, Vir Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, and there's also been, I feel in and around this situation, there's been a lot of feelings of abandonment. Abandonment, loss, regret, sadness, losing hope, okay? stagnation here with the five of pentacles a lot of reflection as well potentially 
but just hard times when it comes to this weight of the situation. Okay, so there's, a, there's two situations here I'm picking up on. There's one situation you've been waiting on that's been a little bit of a burden. There's this other person here who might be appearing in your life and offering you something, uh, you know, that is uh, alluring or you may feel it might be leading to your wish fulfillment. But then there's this other situation still hanging here. This is you, by the way, the King of Cups. I feel walking away from this burden, okay? So I feel like maybe you, uh, or it also could represent you having gained strength and clarity, all right, through and, through and in and around your emotions, but balancing emotions with strength and also maybe looking away from this situation that has been so heavy and burdensome. Looking away from the past, I feel. Whatever the case is, the star card is here to say that you are walking by faith and you're walking in faith from the divine. So when it comes to this love situation or these potential situations and partnerships, you are relying on the divine and your intuition to guide it. Okay. Get some additional clarity for my cancers. Interesting start to the reading, cancers. Very interesting start to the reading. Okay, whoa. Ten of Pentacles popped out. Page of Cups, Four of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Oh, wow. Very interesting, guys. All right. Very interesting. So, all right. And, you know, it's interesting that this is just how... You know, this is how I'm interpreting or picking up the cards, but it was very instantaneous. Like, this is a different person. Now, this person, I feel like you feel that they might be able to help you build a life of abundance, build a life of your dreams, or help you build your life, the life of your dreams. There might be someone here who's able to offer you that. I don't know if they've offered anything, but you perceive that they're able to offer you that. Nine of Cups and Page of Cups tells me that you might be a little smitten by them, or right, or, or just kind of adoring them, or kind of, hmm, there might be some flirting here, or some wanting, I'm feeling wanting to flirt here, or to just kind of see them in a certain, I feel like you see this per person in a very high light, very esteemed light. It's almost like you put them on a pedestal here. Okay. However, when it comes to this situation that you've been waiting on that maybe have felt a little heavy or burdensome, I do feel like you, there's, there's, you, you're wanting, you're still wanting victory in the situation. The Four of Wands tells me that you do still desire with whatever this situation is, hopefully we'll get more clarity here as the reading goes on, to have a home, a healthy, happy, beautiful home life with this person. Separate from this. So there's something you're waiting on that you feel has great potential or you still have, I'm feeling, de I'm feeling desire, especially with the 10 of wands here. It's like the, there's burden there, but there's also a lot of desire. You know what I mean? Five of wands with the five of pentacles. Yeah, you felt bound by this situation, this person. You felt bound by them. You felt like you needed to make a sacrifice and the Four of Pentacles here tells me that uh, you maybe didn't see yourself as who you really were. Right? What the King of Cups tells me, maybe you needed some time to really understand how, just how amazing you are and, and how powerful you are. You know, and this is potentially why things had to hold on with the situation is because there was some, there was some new, like, I feel like you were held back. Ah, yeah, that's it. I feel like you felt you were held back by this situation. And so you needed to walk away from it. Yeah. 
And there's still more to this that I'm picking up on. Right, that's a complex card right there. Um, two of Cups is on the bottom of the deck, so there is a union here. I, I, and I honestly feel like it's over here. I feel like it's this. I feel like this is the union, and I don't know why. Because by all shapes inside, it would look like this, right? It would look like this is the union, but it, I, I don't sense that. I sense that it's more so in the situation that you've been working through and having the burden and holding and where you felt held back and you've had to grow into something new. It's underneath the deck, too, so you might have put it off to the side a little bit and just been like, uh, you know, I'm not going to wait for this anymore. This other person's better. Whatever the case is, let's get some more additional clarity here, Spirit, please. Um, now, you do want this Ten of Pentacles, though. This pe Ten of Pentacles is, but I do feel for some reason, okay, Queen of Wands is here. So there it is. Seven of Cups. I had a feeling. Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Okay. All right, I had a feeling. So, this Seven of Cups tells it all. This Seven of Cups tells me very plainly underneath this whole section, actually the last card of this horizontal section, that this is this is a little bit of an illusion. Like this is a, I don't know if it's an illusion, but it's like a different option. You know, it's a different option apart from your true person. Because I feel like your true person, you've been waiting on for, waiting for them to step into their true heart and their true nature and their feelings and to see you and to give you their heart. Really. Because you know that there's a lot of, uh, there's, a, there's a tangible potential with this person over here, but there's been a lot of heartbreak. And I feel like the reason you, you know, felt you needed to walk away or that there wasn't enough or you were held back is, is because there's heart, this heartbreak. This was heartbreaking for you. There was this, there's a person here. There's this person here. This, this situation, there's someone that came into your life where you're thinking about or feeling about who's not the real option. I'll just be very honest with you. And they are a powerful person. I'm not going to lie. Like they, they have it going on. They have probably stability in their life. They might be successful. They might have already built their kingdom or queendom. Yeah? With the Ten of Pentacles, they might have built an empire for themselves. They might be passionate, purposeful. Okay? They might have come in and flirted with you here. Maybe they see you as their wish fulfillment, or they're seeing, I feel like, yeah, they might see you in a certain light. You know what I mean? But it's the Seven of Cups, meaning it's actually an illusion. It's not the true option. Seven of Cups, to me, comes out when there's, it always comes out when there's a real situation at hand, like a true divine partnership here, and then there's like another option that's like a test. It's like my test card in love, you know? So, you know, and then the star card is here too, which means that, yeah, I mean, this, I, what I'm feeling is this whole conundrum here of needing to wait for a certain person, for them to step into their true heart and nature so you could build the life you've always wanted and have victory and success in the situation and a new tangible beginning, it's probably not even here yet, honestly. I'm not saying it's here yet. I'm saying that this this situation's here. This one's not. This one you're still like, eh. But it's the real one. This person's the real one. Let me get a final outcome card here, Cancers. So, you know, and you're free to do what you'd like, but I'm just seeing it from, from above, from objectively, that this other person over here, over here, not your person, may appear like your person, may be everything you thought you wanted in a person, but they're not your person, if that makes sense. Six of Pentacles. So this whole thing's driven by wanting to receive what you're able to give. I feel like this person... Look, by the way, I just realized this, guys. We have the King and Queen of Cups. Queen, King and Queen of Cups, this is your person over here. This is your match. Okay? This isn't your match. This may seem like it's your match, but this is your match. This person, trust me on this. I know this is tempting. I know, especially with all you've been through on this side, with the three of swords, the four of pentacles, the five of wands, the five of pentacles, this is hard stuff. Okay? But trust me when I say, anything worth having is worth fighting for. Anything worth having is not going to come easy. This came easy. 
Yeah, this came easy. This came into your life easily. This you've been working through, and it's worth it because you have a, your divine counterpart here. Your divine counterpart, and you both will be with each other in full transparency and feelings, and of equal give and take, giving and receiving equally towards each other and one another. Reconciliation is here if you want it. The choice is yours, Cancer, but are you going to pass the test? And you know that person who's in your life, who's the test, okay? Very interesting situation, Cancer. Um, I mean, very interesting situation to just have it picked up on like that. And I'm super curious. I'm going to draw three final outcome cards. I'm just doing an extra just because, you know, I like to give as much clarity as I can in these videos. But we're definitely going to dive into this in the extended here because I'm curious what's going on. So three final outcome cards for uh, cancer and or words of advice from the universe. Final outcome card. Ooh, seven of pentacles. Yeah, time to reflect. Time to reflect on what you want, what you think is missing. Hierophant, keep guiding people in the chariot. Keep moving forward with your life. Um, there might be time still needed for healing for this person on the right side, on the, you know your partner here. Um, but there's there's still you know I feel like you need to separate yourself from this other person. Take some more time to reflect. Just keep guiding people. Spirit wants you to actually move forward and focus on yourself and focus on the true priority priorities of moving forward with your life and helping to guide the world and people. And because you're a spiritual leader, Cancer, I know that I can feel that. Spiritual leader, warrior, light warrior, light worker, that's you. And your person is still healing and there's still patience needed, but this is what is on the horizon with this person, the King and Queen of Cups. Okay? So I this is here for you. It's here for you, but I wouldn't take it. Because it's not true. It's not true love. It's puppy love. It's fake love. Just saying it. It's, it's crystal clear to me. Okay, so I um, hope this helps. I'm going to dive into this extended, and we're going to find out even more detail about where this person is at, your true person, how they see you, where they're at, what they're doing, and what the universe has to say about this divine union for your additional details. So thanks so much for watching, Cancer. If you're new here again and you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get those continued weekly and daily updates for your horoscope sign and love and life. And if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you took a second to hit that like button. Helps this channel and this video grow so we can guide more people. Thanks so much, Cancer. I'll see you in the extended. Bye for now.